Hi everyone, this is Caro at Laces Creations here in South Australia. Well today I'm not at home, I'm up in the Adelaide Hills visiting a very dear friend of mine, Nat Williams, from Paper Paper Possibilities AU. Um, Nat very kindly took me to a little town called Strathballan, which has some lovely old antique shops and we went antique shopping instead of op shopping because it's a long weekend here and no op shops are open anyway i've come to show you some of the little goodies that i got and oh the most prized possession is these old newspapers so they are from 1936 the advertiser it's an um, adelaide newspaper very very big like the huge huge pages much bigger than the New Zealand Herald that I remember. But that's how big, or the uh, Melbourne Age. But anyway, very big, and so lots and lots and lots to work with there. We halved it. <laughs> we halved the stash, and we we um, we still got so much. But I've just picked out a few of the pieces that were um, broken pages, you know, ripped up pages. And I just wanted to show you some of these ads. They're just beautiful. And I think, um, oh, they'll just look neat in sewing journals or even any woman's journals, really. This one here, gorgeous. Lovely in a um, botanical journal. And the patina, look at the colour on them. It's just beautiful. I could just drool over these for hours and hours. And one of the things that I'm really looking forward to is doing a man's journal and a gentleman's journal. And there's so many, um, so many little ads with men in them. How I ended up, my how I ended my stomach trouble. <laughs> and look at the colour in those. Like 1936. Who would have thought that they had colour like that? Oh, I just love it. I just absolutely love them. I could show you these for hours. But anyway, I won't. I'll get on with it. And these oh, these are just some really scrappy bits that we're just going to make, um, well, I'm going to with my lot, just make masterboards with them. You know, don't want to don't want to waste a single piece. So just, that was just a wonderful find. Pop them down there. And then uh, Nat picked up these cards, and they're lovely. They've got gorgeous pictures of butterflies on them, and look, they'll look lovely in a um, journal with blue colouring. And then on this side, once again, gentleman's journal. I don't know, these are like from an auctioneer's room or something like that, because they're all auctioning that sheep. Um wool oh, tin so uh, they must have come the auctioneer is doing the same thing in all of them so they must have come from an auction room I, I'm thinking anyway one would never know and then I've got these lovely stamps which I think are designed for making cards because they've got like Merry Christmas and uh, but what I wanted to show you was the fonts. Gorgeous fonts on there. Father. They've got things like Mother's Day, Father's Day, Happy Birthday. So they've obviously been made um, for card making. But I just really particularly like the fonts on them. Really gorgeous. I don't know if you can see that. So um, the other thing that Nat's all also doing for me is trying to teach me how to make videos because I, I just can't. My husband's been doing it up until now and we've been having trouble trying to get our um, screen, a full screen. And Anyway, Nat and her beautiful son have been patiently trying to show us how to um, get the screen full and, and how to get it into Movie Maker. Now this is um, some gorgeous wallpaper frieze. Isn't it beautiful? The colour, the way it's been cut out, scallops like that, make lovely tags. 
So I've got two rolls of that. That's lovely. And then one of my main aims was to try and find a few more old books. I've got shelffuls of books at home, but I don't know. I still always struggle to find one that I really like to make journals with. And these blue ones, that's like a gunmetal blue. I thought that'd be lovely. Um, Nat kindly gave me this bit of vintage. It's like a damask material, really. It's got a nice shine to it. And I thought it would look lovely on the spine of one of these books, these blue books. I'm um, working with Lydia's Digitals from Raindrop Lila. And I've made a soft cover back in my motel. And I just, um, I'm just not happy with it. And when you're not happy with something, you just got to ditch it and start again. And so I'm thinking if I get onto this hardcover, I quite like that name on there, Lady Hamilton, because I thought, well, I could call that the journal, Lady Hamilton, because it's got a lot of pictures of ladies in the digital. So that's that. And then there's a few laces that um, Nat's given me to go in that. And this gorgeous lace as well. Less. This is just an old Commonwealth Savings Bank envelope. £17.11 on there, so it's quite old. I can't see a date, but the fact that it's in pounds, shillings and pence must mean it's from the 60s. And then these are the couple of old books that I found that I quite liked. This one I thought would make a lovely gentleman's journal. It's got these two men on here, lovely spine and that lovely embossed flower on the back, I don't think I'd have to do too much to this just gut it and um, you know, strengthen it and use that as a gentleman's journal and then this one, it's got this lovely embossing on it the air and around the edge and I thought that would and it's really wide so uh, I'd say that's a good three inches wide so I thought this would make a lovely botanical journal without doing too much to the cover. Lovely inside pages. Just really beautiful. Neat feel. And the patina, this is an um, old encyclopedia. And it's from what year? I can't see the year. Just did a quick um, look. But the patina in it is lovely. Look at that. Look at the colour of those pictures. Just beautiful. So I think that'll make lovely journal pages. And um, particularly I think that cover will make a lovely botanical. And then I got this old 193 uh, Pittman's commercial typewriting book. Now any of you that did Pittman's at school, you'd remember these books, but this is a 1933 copy, so it's a bit older than I, but um, I definitely did Pittman's typing and shorthand at school, and the, as you know, these have all mixed fonts in them, numbers, you know, so they make neat journal pages as well. An old envelope there. So that was that. Oh, and then these photos, <laughs> we went, the third shop we went, there were there were five um, antique shops in Strathballan and the third one we went into, um, it was a, run by a, a nice old gentleman and he, um, I think he was a bit taken aback with what Nat and I were looking for old vintage stuff to make journals with, we were told him what we were doing with it, anyway, and the others, all the photos were going for 3 to $5 each. And, uh, of course, when you're giving them away in journals, you don't really want to pay that much. But anyway, he let me have all these for $5 for the whole lot. So I was pretty happy with that. Some of them will be good to use. And the ones that aren't, I'll just, um, like these silly ones, I don't know what that is. I'll just pop a picture over that and then make a faux postcard. Put a stamp on there and... Some postage stamps and, and the paper's just lovely. So they'll come in handy for that. 
Now this, if you were ever a dressmaker, or um, this one came from a jewellery shop, but they used to, you know, often give you complimentary things when you bought um, something, you know, like material or whatever. And this was a little diary, complimentary diary, and it's from 1953. So that would just make nice um, ephemera for a journal to pop into a pocket. I'll get a few pages out of that. Nowadays, you're lucky if you get a calendar at Christmas time. Then my prize possession, I was pretty happy finding these French stamps because the digitals that I'm working from, from Raindrop Lila, are French. And um, um, I went through my own stash at home, you know, ready to come here, and I only had quite big stamps which you you know they're pretty but you can't always use them but these are little stamps and these are from 1930 something as well and um there's quite a few of them so I was happy with that find all being French I'll be able to use those in my French journal uh, another piece of lace oh and then we've got this date stamp it's a little bit perish because it's so old but I think if I get to and put some oil of some description in there and uh, get it moving, it should work. And then there were these um, photo mounts, which are, these are not easy to come by either. So um, the ones I'm using, the, that I've used in the past, have, or I've got out of an old antique photo album, but these are... Um, these ones haven't been used, and they're all black, so so they'll look nice, I think. Use those. And then last but not least, I've got these um, post office pen nibs. Not sure exactly what I'll do with them. Nat said she's used them on covers. Probably once again as a little charm in a gentleman's journal. They've got a little hole there so you could put a jump ring in them and uh, hang them off as a charm. I like the box. <laughs> I'm, I'm a sucker for boxes and tins. So, yeah, so that's all I got. That was my little stash. Um, you know, I'm really excited to use those newspapers with the beautiful patina on them. It's just a beautiful caramel colour. It's so That's just so lovely. And um, I'm really happy to use those. And I'm really thankful to Nat. She's um, patiently trying to show me how to do videos. And um, I've got a new phone, so we've been doing a few... Um, sample videos up one way and up the other way to see to see what's what because the ones that my husband and I have been doing we were with the screen it's just been too small on the screen so we've been doing something wrong anyway Nat and her, her uh, darling son they're patiently trying to teach me I'm a silly old woman but anyway that's all there is for me today I hope you're all having a great weekend and um, thanks very much for watching See you later. See you in the next video. Bye.